Hello everyone and thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you how to build this walnut council table. I really hope you enjoy. YouTube, it's Tanner with Built Not Bought, and I'm about to start a walnut council table that's gonna have double waterfall edges, as well as some open storage for various pieces of surround sound and movie theater equipment. So here is my slab, or slabs I should say. I just filled them with epoxy, some of the voids. And I've been planing down the excess epoxy here. But what this is going to look like is this right here. 105 inches long and 22 inches high. So right now I'm just simply getting my layout lines ready. Uh, here's my mark for 105 inches on both sides there. And then I also like to draw in pen what direction I'm gonna cut my miter for the waterfall edge. And you can see that there. Um, and I'm just going to take my Festool track saw, put that at 45 degrees, make the cut, measure over 105, and then make the opposing side cut all at 45 degrees. Then I'm going to go over to that second smaller slab that I showed you and measure off 22 inches for one leg and then 22 inches for the other leg. And these will also be cut at 45s and we will butt the two ends up together so that we get a nice and awesome waterfall edge. So here's what my walnut piece looks like after I ran my Festool track saw at a 45 degree angle to cut this first miter. Uh, I do need to replace the blade on that saw. There's a little bit of scoring from the blade burning through the wood, but other than that, it is a nice clean cut. I just need to do this on the opposite side of the table. So I'll stretch from this edge all the way down to the other end of the table to wherever my set length is supposed to be at and cut my other 45. And I'm using epoxy from Total Boat. This is their fast curing hardener, which allows this epoxy to harden in a matter of hours instead of waiting multiple days. I like to add a matte black pigment to it. I just think it looks uh, the most natural with walnut and it looks really, really clean when it's all finished. And I didn't record while I was gluing up the waterfall edges because I just stress so much about the glue up. I don't want to worry about the camera on top of all of that. But I CA glue uh, two 45 angle blocks onto the lumber itself. And then I use those to clamp everything down. And you'll see this overhang on the top part of the slab. I'll take and contour that. I'll cut it with my jigsaw and then I will shape it with my sander so that it all flows as one solid piece, and then I'll do the same on the opposing edge as well. These blocks pop right off with a chisel, and then you can just start your cleanup sanding afterwards. And fast forward a little bit, you can see I'm shaping that same edge I just showed you. I, I trimmed it down with my jigsaw, and then I'm just using an aggressive sandpaper. This is 60 grit, which I only use in instances like this where I'm really trying to clean up and remove a lot of material at once and this Festool sander does such a great job with heavy removal like this or uh, you can refine it with some 150 or 220 and get a beautiful finish as well. So this looks a little chaotic but I like to draw everything out. I use a yellow crayon and it shows up really well on this walnut but this uh, council is going to have shelving in it and here's my vertical braces and over here are my horizontal braces. So I got all those uh, milled and flat and square. And these pieces here will combine into one because they weren't quite wide enough. I've done a quick sanding job on the base to this walnut console table. I sanded it up to 100 grit and now I figured it was a good time to start working on the shelving unit down below. Now getting this together by yourself is kind of difficult but these heavy Bessie parallel clamps make it a little bit easier. And this is not glued together at all. This is simply just dry fit together so that I can start laying out my lines for my domino placement. So I just mark right down the center with a piece of uh, carpenter's pencil. And then I use some sort of a straight edge to draw that line over. And then I'll take a square and draw in 
I believe we did four dominoes on each uh, joint here. And we're using the smallest domino that Festool provides. I think they're the four or five millimeter domino to hold the shelving together. There's going to be this big piece in the middle and then off to the side, there's gonna be two smaller cubbies that are about 12 inches wide that you'll see here in a second. All right, guys, I've been out in the shop for most of the day today and I've made great progress on the shelving unit. Super tedious getting all these dominoes in place. And I think I'm gonna glue up just this middle section uh, just so I'm not overwhelmed or have more uh, issues uh, trying to get these side pieces on as well. I think it'll just be easier to glue this up, let it sit overnight, and then attach the sides tomorrow. Uh, just to give you an idea of what it, uh, the assembly looks like, there's just dominoes. Uh, I use three for each shelf, and this one will just slide in, and I'll lock that in place with some glue and some clamps, and then the same thing on this side here. Another thing that I'm doing that I wish I would have started doing sooner is I'm putting blue tape down. I already sanded all of this to 120 and I don't want a bunch of glue getting on it and ruining it and uh, trying to have to sand in these tight corners, which never works out well. So I'm going to put blue tape here and then I'm going to put some on this edge as well. And then I'm going to wipe the glue after it's been clamped and then peel these off right away. And I hope that it leaves a nice clean joint. And fast forward through hours and hours of sanding, I start with 80, then go to 100, then 120, and finish with 150. And I do all of that before I start adding this Rubio Mono Coat Pure Finish. I think pure on walnut is the best combination, and it goes on so smooth and so beautifully. You let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes, and then you buff it off with a dry rag. And I just continue to buff until I don't get any more residue left on the rags. And while I'm finishing up the rest of this walnut piece, now would be a great time to like and hit that subscribe button if you feel I've earned it. I work really hard on this furniture and editing the videos. And if you're enjoying the content, it helps me out a ton if you hit that like and subscribe button. Only about 5% of the people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. So do me a favor and hit that button. Unfortunately, the day after finishing this walnut council table, I had to go in for shoulder surgery and I didn't get to attach the base to the uh, cubby holes below. I was waiting on some Z-clips to come in the mail and they didn't arrive on time, so I went into shoulder surgery. Fast forward several months, I was able to attach the base to the cubbies with Z-clips and here it is delivered in its forever home. How beautiful is this home theater? This piece houses various sound and projection equipment.